upload this package or this archive to our uh, server. And what this archive will contain is a list of all the files as well as the MySQL database. Depending on what host you're, you're with will determine whether you have cPanel or Plesk or whatever. Essentially, you just need to get the uh, the file manager your and host. upload this. Then just go ahead and and, uh, and log in. And my new host is just going to be called my new domain. Uh, and what you're looking for once you've logged in is some form of a file manager. Uh, once my one comes up, I'll just go to the file manager. Most hosting environments will have some form of a file manager. Um, whatever it might be. Once you get there, go to the public HTML or the root folder that which your host would have told you. The other information you'll need is your host would have would have told you along with your um, your welcome email what your database name is and what your database username and your database password is. Now these things might be the same as your as your um, uh, default username and password for your hosting environment. Also, you might need to create these yourself. Again, too many variables for me to go into, but uh, essentially, once you have that information, you'll need it shortly. Uh, so now we're going to go and upload that package. Um, I didn't bother downloading. I'll just actually I'll just clarify that. Once your package is here, you can, if this was on another host somewhere, you can download that to your computer. We don't need to because, and all you do is just simply click download, but we don't even need to because in our situation, it's on our computer. So we've already got it. So I'm going to click on upload. And I'm going to browse to where my local hosting environment is. And it's in Administer, uh, oops, Components, Joomla Pack, Backup, and there it is there. Click Open and Upload. Uh, it shouldn't take long at all in my situation. In yours, it just might take a, a minute or two, just to turn, uh, depending on your uh, the speed of your connection. Once it's done, it's here and ready to be extracted. So again, depending upon your hosting environment, will determine whether you have a button that's called extract or uncompress or unpack or whatever it might be. But essentially all we need to do is just simply uh, select the package, make sure it's in the public HTML or your root directory, which your host would have told you, and then just click the extract button. And that should then show all the files, uh, including the installation, the new installation directory, which is a modified Joomla installer, a Joomla pack installer, in fact. So now once we've done that, now we just need to simply go to our new um, our new uh, domain, and we just hit the root of that domain. So in my case, my new domain is um, that I'm using as a t as an example here is strangely enough called my new domain and when you go there you should find that it will spit you into this modified Joomla installer which is a Joomla pack installer it will look very very similar to a normal Joomla installer and that's the whole idea because what it's now doing is it's gathering information that you will provide um, ready to extract all the files and the database uh, onto your new host so here we need those that information I was talking about before. So we need your username. This is your database username, which might be the same. Uh, my new domain, uh, the password for that, and the database name. Once you have that information, you just click on the next. If you've had, if you've given the right information here, the next screen you'll see will be uh, a confirmation screen. So once you've clicked on that. You'll, um, you'll get a, a, some type of a, a response here. Now, if you've entered incorrect information, you may get a uh, response here saying, uh, cannot connect to database or something along that. If you get something like this, congratulations, end of file reached. Assuming OK, we can assume that all the files have been extracted and your database has been imported into your new server database. So we click Next, uh, fill in a bit more information. Next again. Uh, all this information can be left the same. Of course, you're, you know you can set a new admin password uh, and move along. Now, um, in my situation, yours might be the same, where I'm now forced to copy um, this information here. Now, uh, this will determine, or this will vary according to from one server to another. Many servers won't require this information to be copied. All it is is the contents of your new configuration file. 
as I said, some of your, uh, some of you with your hosts won't require, but standard cPanel hosting as a general rule, you won't be required to do this. But if you do, it's easy enough. You just copy that contents. And as it says here, also remove the installation directory. So I'm going to go back to my, um, uh, server. I'm just going to refresh that just so that I'm, make sure I'm looking at the, uh, at the latest, um, information. Now there is a configuration.php, so I'm just going to edit that. And in there, I'm going to paste what I copied just a second ago. I'm going to save that. And the last thing we're going to do is delete the installation folder. And if I've done all that correctly, now if I remove the installation dot, uh, or just that whole um, path there and hit return, I should get my new site that is now exactly as it was on my um, on my local server, so there it is. There, uh, let me just log out of that. Go back to the home page. So here it is. This is the site that's on my local testing environment on my local PC, and here's the exact same site, all the same information on my new domain. So that's how to use Joomla Pack. I've been using Joomla Pack uh, for some time and uh, and I think it's a great tool. It is the easiest way, in my opinion, to move one, a site from one server, one serv, uh, hosting environment to another hosting environment. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. I've also got a special announcement coming up soon as well. Thanks very much.